My name is Jason Davis and a year ago I was diagnosed with a prolactinoma, a pituitary tumor. For years I've had headaches, just to me they were standard headaches. I took Advil all the time and uh, never thought much of it. Then about February of 2009 I started getting some very severe headaches that went from middle of my forehead, behind my left eye, and down to my left cheek, which was unlike anything that I'd had before. And we tried a sinus infection treatment and that didn't do anything. So we went for a CT scan and that was when the mass was discovered. When this was diagnosed, the, uh, they knew it was a mass, but it could have been any one of, I don't know how many types of tumors and being the location of it, which is pretty much right in the center of your head underneath your brain, it's not easy to go in and do a biopsy. So if they're gonna go in to do a biopsy, then they might as well just try to take out whatever they can. Because the pituitary releases you know, all these chemicals that control your body, that's how they were able to determine that mine was a prolactinoma because my prolactin levels were literally off the charts. Um, a normal range for my age, male, is 1 to 18 and my le prolactin levels were at 8600. Given that they had said of all the types of tumors that could grow up there, there was one type that could be taken to medication, all the others would require pretty immediate surgery. It was very nerve-wracking, so obviously we did a lot of praying, praying for that one type, and when it came back as being the prolactinoma, which is the one that would respond to medication, there was just this huge sense of relief. Since I've been on the medication, it's been a year now, and the tumor started out at about five centimeters, and over the past year, it has shrunk down to about 3.8 centimeters. In one dimension, the other dimension, it's gone from four centimeters to about three. The prolactin level started out at 8,600 when this was first diagnosed. After about three to four weeks on the medication, it dropped down to about 5,000. And then over the course of, of the year, it has steadily dropped. And a year uh, later now, it's down to 5.5, which is you know, well below the, the, within the normal range. And since then, you know, I felt great. I've been exercising and eating right, and I don't have headaches anymore, and, you know, probably felt the best I've felt in a long, long time.